Hey everybody and welcome back. Now, I'm not sure if many of you know, but a very, very long time ago, when the village of Dirkshire was pretty much just being built, I mentioned a small little lumberyard area where the town was sending people out to get wood for everyday stuff, like, you know, fires and and things that wood does, okay? Um, <laughs> well, the lumberyard was anything but that. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Port B remastered another area. But let me tell you right now, okay? I don't consider this a remaster. I consider this an entirely new build, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So, without further ado, let's get to the time lapse so I can show you. All right, everybody, so now that you saw the original area, I really want to draw your attention to what the same place looks like now. Now, obviously the time-lapse, you're gonna see the full product during the walkthrough, but pretty much this, this is what happened. So like the other day, I was sitting here and I'm thinking of just like, what could be done and how can all this be improved, okay? So in all honesty, there wasn't really much that could be done with what was already there. Okay, so the only thing that could really happen would be a full teardown and revamp so I could start from scratch and really dig into that lumberyard vibe. So since that was the only course of action, it's exactly what I did. Now I do want to preface this with, and, and say that this isn't a lumber mill, it is only a lumber yard because we do have a lumber mill inside of Dirkshire al already, so there wouldn't make sense to have like two processing spots. Um, so this is where they collect the lumber, right? And they bring it into Dirkshire for actual processing. So pretty much once we, once I decided like, hey, look, we're gonna have to scrap this. We're gonna have to start all over, all that good jazz. Um, this, this would happen. So the build team and I, we pretty much took our world editing tools. We got to work on removing the older trees of the area, hand placing grass blocks, doing all that kind of stuff. And it really helped us get a bird's eye view of the whole thing. And then we were able to place those grass blocks to really have the terrain be more smooth and more natural looking. Now, this did involve adding foliage as well um, as, as more tailored ground cover compared to the world painter style of before, kind of like, you know, slapping stuff on there. Now, this process took me, uh, well, actually it took two of us almost three days to really set the tone for the Hamphrey Valley. And we're still currently working on it, albeit, albeit we are very close to finishing the area in its entirety. Now, Dreaming and Sound, or Papa Paps as we call them, really came to my rescue here in helping with the interior of the sleeping quarters while I focused on the interior of the storage building. Now, during the time lapse, I'm sure you'll see that both came out very well, and it's always really fun to be able to collaborate on different projects. Now also, if you haven't checked him out, definitely look at Dreamin' and Sound's YouTube page because he builds stuff way better than I ever could, and he's an absolute stand-up guy, okay? Like, he is a really good builder. He is absolutely fantastic, and I mean, it's just, it blows me away because he's been building Conquest significantly less than I have, and he's absolutely fantastic. So, insane. Absolutely insane. Now, of course, uh, that's... That's pretty much it. So <laughs> what I'll do is we'll just get through this. Um, I'll meet you again in the walkthrough in just a moment. So yep, let's get on to it. All right, everybody. So here we are in the outside of Dirkshire. And uh, once again, you know, this is the lumber mill area I was talking about beforehand. That is the old style one. And if you go through here, we actually have the lumber yard. Now we did renovate this path, made it a little wider, added some more gradients here. But look how different this entire spot looks now. I mean, look, th this is absolutely insane. We went all out in environmental detail, and I'm gonna have a, a video showcasing that a little bit more later, but just look at this. This is a totally different area. Now you can still see where the path kind of went originally in that way, but none of this was here beforehand. This kind of went up on a small hill. Um, it was those, the, those few little like seats and some saws, but that was it. And now look at it. It's a totally different build and it just looks absolutely just really, really cool, really unique. Now, first off, real quick, I want to take you for a little tour. Now, you can see here, once again, we made it multiple layers, things like that. You can see here, of course, the path is decorated, just like with most of the things that we always try to have is lots and lots of decoration. And here, of course, you can see some firewood. It's, you know, bundled up. 
We have spruce wood because this area is full of spruce trees, not really many others, mainly just spruce. And you'll see that throughout here, but we have the work area here. You can see all the tools. We have saws, we have hammers, we have uh, wood shaving tools, you know, things like that. This is like where they're refining it more into planks. Really cool spot here. And then of course we have a storage area right here with some wagons and a pathway leading down. So obviously you're gonna, you're gonna have some, some, some bags of stuff, uh, sawdust or things like that. Here you can see some bear hides hanging up. Um, that's kind of more for decorative features, kind of looks good. But, you know, it is what it is. Of course, we have materials. We have lots of lots and lots of spruce trees already cut down, ready to go, varying shapes and sizes. Really cool here. And then, of course, you, we, we made some stumps as well, just to show that they were cut down. I'm trying to add it in here and make it look really cool. As you can see, it's just, it just kind of comes together right now. It's surrounded by the mountains. It absolutely looks beautiful. Really love this. And then when you come up on the path, you can see also there are some other spots here. Once again, cut down. They're leaving the stumps because stumps are really hard to get rid of. I mean, they legitimately are. They cost a lot of money to do in modern day. Imagine trying to, you know, grind a stump or dig one up and, and you know, back then. It's a lot of work. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to circle back here and take this path. And once again, you can just see lots of detailing, lots of small things here and there. And we're going to go to the actual builds themselves. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. And we are going to go to Pup Palps or Dreaming and Sounds area first. And this is the pretty much sleeping room. And this is where the supervisor is and where the people sleep. So you can see here just a very, very, very nicely done, uh, like, kitchen area you know with a little bit of food some ovens things like that just small little bits here okay and it really kind of ties together this this rectangular area this this commune like you know small area if you go in here this is where the um pretty much the not not the leader uh, foreman the foreman this is his office you can tell it's very dimly lit because we are in the daytime it's going to be a lot of light coming through this would show through more at night but this is the foreman spot he's got his tiny little office He's kind of doing his thing, got his own little bed, and he can look out and watch the workers if he wants to. And then over here, you can also see the workers, and you, they're just crammed in here. Like, this is no joke. They don't have much. They're crammed in a small little spot, but it works really well. And it definitely gets the point across that, you know, Dirkshire is a small village. They're not crazy wealthy. They don't have, you know, like hundreds of thousands of, you know, monies or whatever. Like, it's just. <laughs> they, they are what they are they're a small village just kind of making it through here if you go over here we can see that we have the storage room as well once again lots of decoration here we have these massive pillars kind of holding up the roof some wood some tools some carts all this kind of cluttered in here small little space right down here if you need to i don't know take a take a breather or do stuff like that you have tons of wood just kind of crammed in here underneath this little spot that you can go up to and of course, there's a few more decorative and things like that. Some food, some snacks, all that good jazz. And just lots of detail here. And, and like I said, I mean, this area just really came across really well. You know, we wanted to keep it busy, but also keep it kind of spaced out because this is a work area. You know, they would keep it organized, at least for the most part. They would try to keep it as, you know, like taken care of as possible. That's why there's not too much clutter. There's not too much craziness everywhere because we wanted to keep it organized we wanted to make it truly look like a workplace and really and truly this area has not been going on for that that long i mean if you if you look around they've only cut down a, a, a small amount of trees all considering and that's a really cool spot over there you can see witherfoot keep really nice and then over here this is the actual spot where uh, they felled some trees and they're currently cutting them down to size loading them up moving them around now they do ship these to Dirkshire and like I said Dirkshire could sell them or do whatever uh, but yeah you could just see this really cool little bit we have of the fallen fell trees we have um, lots of small details here where they are different sizes we angled them to look like they kind of fell kind of crooked kind of crazy there and some bits and pieces kind of scattered a bit just just we, we like I said we tried to go all out in environmental detailing and I think uh, Paps and I did a really good job here and it really came together exceptionally well. So I'll just give you a quick little flyover. Oh, actually I forgot this too. So check this out. So 
not only do we have the buildings here, but then we also have a small little log raft where they would put the raft on there. You know, somebody would stand up here and they they go down river, you know, uh, into Dirkshire where we would have uh, and, and Adam actually added this in like this is like a line to let them know like, oh, hey, look, you're here. Stop. They would unload the wood and then they could begin cutting it down and working on it instead of trying to haul it through the, the gates and everything. Adam came up with a really good idea with that. And RC, who is a member of our community, um, came up with this idea in a stream. And it just I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. It's just a really cool idea. I, I would have never thought about it. But let me give you that flyover real quick. Once again, here we have the area. You can see it's just really, really huge, really cool, tons of detailing, tons of things that just really help this area come alive. And I couldn't be more excited about it. And I couldn't be more happy with this, this uh, turnout on this project. So anyways, I, I thank all of you for tuning in and watching this video. I thank you so much, um, you know, for just taking time out of your day to, to look at this. Uh, El Morin, remember, is open to the public. You can view this server at any time. So if you want to join the Discord, it's it's always great to, to have new people come in. Seeing this world in the videos is one thing. Seeing it in person is something totally different. And I promise you, once you see it in person, you will not regret it. Okay, I promise you that. But anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you so much once again for watching. This is the Legendary Purpose signing off. Have a good day. Happy gaming. And I'll catch you again for the next one.